Well, hello there, everybody. Brandon here coming to you in the studio today. I got another quick paint along with me tutorial on a small 6x8 canvas. This one's a little bit different, a little bit of a fun deal here. This is a smiling alpaca. So, if you want to do a little fun project here on an alpaca, let's get started. Alright, so what I have here is a small 6x8 canvas and we're going to do a happy little alpaca here. I've got a friend that's all into these little guys, so we're going to paint one. So we got a happy faced alpaca pencil sketched in there and so we'll do a little happy background as well here. I thought about doing like a distant tree line or something, but I was like, you know, this guy here, he's smiling, he's goofy. He's going to be mostly like a light kind of tan uh colored alpaca so i'm just gonna do a bright happy crazy background of some light purple and like teal green and light green and stuff so you can do whatever makes uh, you happy with your smiling happy alpaca i'm going to go with this route so i'm just going to come in with a three quarter inch wash brush and i'm going to start with just some some light purple and come in here and just drop some color on. All right, so there's a pretty crazy looking, happy, colorful background that I'm going to use. And while I still got my wash brush here in the hand, I'm going to go ahead and cover the majority of the, the bigger area of his body in here with the darkest tones that I'm going to use. So again, he's going to be kind of a, a tan looking, uh, light brownish colored alpaca here. So I'm going to come in with some darker brown to cover most of it. So I'm going to use raw umber. Um, and I'm just going to start really with just straight up plain raw umber here on this lower body area just to get some dark brown in place. I can always tweak that a little bit if I want to, so I think I'm going to add just a hint of red into that. Just a little. And I'm going to gray it out a little bit to move to his 
which is his body back here. That's mostly his neck that you're actually seeing right here in the foreground. I'm going to start to lighten things up just a little bit in some of these areas now. I'm going to introduce a little yellow ochre to that mix. I'm going to switch over now to a smaller angled brush to kind of finish my blocking in layer here, get me a little tighter spaces here with this. So I'm just going to finish blocking in my colors.
All right, so now we have just kind of a darkened in blob of a uh, of an alpaca there, and I'm going to come in now with a little small, this is like a number four, like a filbert style brush, just something small, a little point to it. Clean up some of my edges and define out some of that stuff around the nose and the eyes a little bit better. And uh, once I clean everything up, then we'll get started putting in the, this is little fur details. All right, now we can see that our fella here is starting to take a little bit of shape. So we're going to come in right now on the face and start detailing things out a little bit. And I guess I will just start right in the center on that nose. And he's got the area above that little triangle in there. Or I guess I should say that triangle. That's a little darker than the rest. So I'm going to darken that up a little bit more raw umber in there. Darken that area of the nose. And then right here below, kind of the little smile he's got going on, things are just a little bit... Now we can start to fine tune that a little bit, so I'm going to come into a little bit more yellow ochre and touch a white to lighten that mix up slightly and refine my edges a little bit. And I think I want to carry that darker stuff a little higher on this side. I'm going to try to keep our light source from a maybe a perspective just kind of from like the front left over here and this it'll be catching a little bit more of this front leading edge and a little bit more of this edge over here and right at the bottom edge of Kind of where it looks like he's grinning we're lighting that up just a little now i'm gonna add a little black into that mix to darken that down a fair amount and come back in here and draw back in that kind of a wide looking crease that he's got going on through the middle of that nose now we'll work in our little darker tones up here kind of at the base of the snout i guess it comes and attaches to the rest of the face Now if we're saying our light source is kind of from the top left over there, we'll just lighten things up a little bit more on that side. So like through here, this fur off the bottom of the chin, we'll lighten it up a little bit on this side. Maybe got a little bit of fur right there. It looks like it's catching a little light on that side. get this area up here kind of between where his eyes are Now these eyes themselves, 
so again i'm using a reference photo here to kind of figure out what's going on there's a little bit of a dark pocket it's kind of a dark brown right above this eye and same way over here and then you have the eyeball itself that we're gonna have to put in first with black and then put some highlight and some shine on the eyeball and this eye that's on this side of the body because it's on the side the light source is not coming from pretty dark down into here below it now we're going to add just a little bit of white to that black there to just gray it out a little bit to put a little bit of a shine on the eyeball itself and then add just a tiny bit more white to the tip of this brush to come in here and touch in kind of the reflections and you can kind of adjust that to wherever you're happy add a little bit more shine to it in some areas if you want now to kind of finish defining those eyes out just kind of pay attention if you're using a photo like I am there's you know a couple of little lines in there like there's a little light line right in here that kind of defines the side of that eye out there's a real sharp line here above that one a little area of highlight around here on the face and just a little bit on this back edge and over here on the side our light source is coming from the top edge of this it's all pretty light and there's a little bit of what looks like the top of his eyelid it's catching a little bit of highlight right in there yeah if we zoom back out of that we can see that our guy's face is starting to take shape I'm going to move now to an older angled brush that I've got that's kind of worn and frayed out from use to start doing some of this fur detail now. So around the face right in there, the, you know, the hair looks a little flatter, so we didn't worry about a lot of actual fur detail in there. We can fine-tune that to our likings later on if we want. I'm going to start down here in the chest area, and we just want to lay in lighter kind of creamier tan highlights on top of that darker base Let's see what we get so i'm going back into raw umber a little bit of yellow ochre a little bit of white kind of tan it out a little bit and we're going to lay a couple of lines in to see what our values are basically just come in here and touch the canvas make short little choppy strokes when you touch the canvas just to make what looks like a little furry clump and see how we feel about our color you can adjust it if you want you can keep rocking it out for now I'm gonna just go with this get some coverage in here now I'm going to switch over to a liner brush and go back into that same color here and start putting in little highlights that are a little tighter, a little more detailed in on this body here. We'll make it look like we got little clumps of fur coming out. And I mean, this is one of those deals that you just detail it as much as you want. certainly don't have to get carried away with this you can just get enough in there to add suggestion that there's some fur on the front end of this alpaca or you can go as overboard and detailed as you want I'm gonna go fairly detailed with mine in terms of putting in a lot of these little strokes with this liner brush here
And now as I kind of move away from the center of the neck, I'm going to really not have as much gap in my um, lines here. And so it'll look like it's rounding around the corner of the neck. On this left side, I'm gonna lighten it up a fair amount because obviously that's where I'm saying my light source has been coming from. And as you move to the right here, you start to introduce just a little bit more gaps where you can see the shadow beneath the you know highlights of the fur until you kind of blend back over to your midline here. In the outer edge of his body back there we're going to highlight out a little bit too because again our light source is from over here so we need to put that same highlight out over here on this edge. Not going to have as much detail back on there because we're going to say that's his back of his body somewhere. Pretty much the same procedure on the right side. I'm just not going to bring in as bright of a highlight over here. Now I'm going to move back briefly to my little frayed out angle brush to do some of this fur along the sides of the face and cheeks and top of the head. Basically the same procedure we had there below. We're going to bring in some lighter value of that creamy color again and just kind of touch some onto the canvas here. Dragging in little fur highlights. We'll come back in at the end with our liner brush to finish detailing all this. Now that I've made a pass with that angle brush, it's back to the liner brush to finish out the detailing. So I'm going to start right back in that same value. We'll highlight out the ears a little bit with that. The sides that would be catching the light.
All right. I think we're at a pretty good spot there that I can kind of call that a completed deal. Um, I may touch a few highlights in here and there once I stand back and look at it, but for purposes of us doing a paint along with me here on this, I'd say that we've arrived at a pretty good spot. We'll call that one a finished happy smiling alpaca. Hope you had fun along painting with this one. Till next time, happy painting everybody. <laughs>